Good morning, Mr. Sassy Pants. <coughs> yep, that's what I thought. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another vlog with Maddie and Millen. So it is currently about 7.30 in the morning, and today we're going to take you on a work day in our life. So a lot of people during COVID got COVID puppies, and we did get Milton during COVID technically, but he's not really a COVID puppy because I actually work in person. So unlike everyone else who has gotten these dogs and has been able to work from home with them and just spend more time with them. We actually got a puppy when we were working full time in person. And with that, there's been a bunch of challenges, namely figuring out his potty schedule, feeding him and making sure that he gets enough exercise during the day, which is kind of hard to do when you work eight to five. So I hope that this vlog is helpful to you if you yourself are in the position of working full-time in person and you are looking to get a puppy or you already have one and you're not really sure what to do with them during the day. Now when we first got Millen, I did work from home or take off about a week just because those first few days are always really hard for a puppy and that gave us some time to spend with him and kind of just get him settled into his routine before really jumping back into the full-time swing of things. And my husband, he works a lot from home which has helped a lot with Milton's schedule, but there are still a lot of days where he's out doing something for work and he isn't working from home. And so then it really is just like with anyone else who works full time and has a dog. You have to figure out what to do with them, how to keep them fed, safe, contained, and since he's a puppy to keep him from tearing up everything in our apartment. So I usually go to a workout class around 6 a.m. in the morning and then I get back right at 7 and take Milton out for the first thing in the morning. He goes number one and number two. We come inside. I take a shower, let him out, and let him play for a bit with his toys, which is currently what he's doing right now. And then we give him breakfast. It's breakfast time. Come on, buddy. Let's go get breakfast. You already know. Right, buddy? So our most recent development with feeding him, because it seems to always be changing, is that we got this slow feeder because he was eating so fast that he was kind of like coughing on his own food. So we got this, and I think it's actually helped out pretty significantly with the pace that he eats at. He's not like choking on his food anymore. And we give him one cup in the morning and then one cup at night. So I take my half cup scoop. Hold my breath because it smells very chickeny. He already knows he's like pacing at my feet. There is his food. Making sure it doesn't spill out of here. Put this back in the fridge. All right, and now it's breakfast time. So he's pretty good. He knows to wait for his food. So he's already sitting, stay. And then I put his food down right here, stay. Okay, he's too good at it, honestly. Even with the slow feeder, he still eats like a pig. Took him maybe two minutes to eat this, but I promise it would have been much faster if we hadn't have done that. And then usually while he's eating, I go and finish getting ready for work. So I'm gonna go do that now. And that's it for getting ready. Currently it's about 7.45 and this is usually the time that I head out to work. I'll try and take Milton out before I go, but a lot of the times he just doesn't have to go because he had literally just eaten like 15 minutes prior. So I just put him in his crate or his playpen and then whenever I come home for lunch, I let him out. Milton! You ready to go in your crate? I think that's a no. I like to grab a few toys that are pretty much indestructible. This Costco squee is a pretty durable one and then he already has a donut in there. We're gonna get your favorite part, a treat, right buddy? 
So then I just grab a treat from one of his many treat options. So today we'll grab him these winky jerky sticks. Treat obtained. He already knows what's going down, don't you buddy? Off, off, good boy. All right, let's go in your crate, come on buddy. And he just sprints right inside because he knows exactly what's happening. So that's for you. And then we'll close the crate. Close the crate. And we'll see you in a few hours, buddy. Stopping to get some Starbucks real fast before I head to work. Thank you. Yeah. Got the goods. Now let's head off to work. It's so sunny out here. It's like blinding, especially for 7, almost 8 a.m. in the morning. If you have not yet tried it, let me put you on the Salted Caramel Cold Foam Nitro Cold Brew. It's like seven words, but it's just a cup of total deliciousness. And I swap out the caramel sir syrup for one pump of sugar-free vanilla and two pumps of sugar-free Sim Dolce, just to make it a little bit healthier. But overall, it's just such a good, like sweet and creamy drink. Usually I work until about 12.30, 1.30, and then I will go home and let Milton out and take my lunch break. I get an hour lunch break, which is really nice. And I will admit being able to go home on my lunch break makes a big difference in owning a puppy because I just can't imagine having Milton locked up in a crate or just confined inside from eight to five. That's just too much for any creature, especially him when he's so young. A few hours later and I'm heading back to the apartment to let Milton out and answer some of your questions about leaving a dog at home when you work full time. Now that we are all unplugged and ready to go back home, I did want to show you one of the tools that I use to kind of monitor Milton when I'm not at home. And of course usually he's in his crate, but if I put toys in there or other things I just want to make sure that he's okay and see how he's doing. And what it is, is a doggy camera. So it's on this MIPC app, I'm just going to sign in there, and then right here is the camera. So that's it, and then we have it positioned currently just on his crate, and this allows you to rotate it. You can do up and down as well as side to side. And so you can see right now that he's honestly just sleeping in his crate and chilling out. And then if I press this button, I could actually talk to him, but I think he gets freaked out by it, so I really don't use that, that button that often. And then both of these allow me to either take a picture or record it. Hi, buddy! I'm back home! Did you miss me? Yeah? Hi! Hi! Are you looking at the camera? <laughs> Hi, silly bear. Hi! Kisses. Kisses from the bear. You have to go potty? <laughs> Yes, oh, big stretches. 
So since we live in an apartment, one of the essentials that we got, especially when this little guy couldn't really go outside yet when he wasn't vaccinated, was this grass pad. It's two parts. The grass is one part, and then the little plastic pan underneath is another part. And then maybe like once a week, I'll just go inside and rinse it off in our shower to get all like the, the pee and stuff out. Right, buddy? Oh, he's being so good today. Going potty super fast. Come on, let's go get a treat. He literally never goes this fast. Maybe he was just showing off for the camera. So for his midday treat, I'm giving him one of these super treats. They are 100% plant-based vegan treats. And we actually have a discount code for these if you wanna order your own bag. If you use Milton at checkout, you get 10% off. So we'll have the link to their website and the code in the bio if you're interested in trying them. He very much likes them and so i'm gonna put him actually back in his crate so that i can eat lunch he's just gonna run right in it like he did before oh good boy while milton's taking a little nap i figured i would go ahead and answer some of the questions you guys asked on his instagram page about what it looks like to take care of a puppy while working full time so the first question we got is how many walks per day do you take milton on so the answer to this fluctuates a lot as he gets older. Generally, it's less potty breaks the older he gets because he can hold it longer. But usually I take him first thing in the morning before his breakfast, right when I get up or get back to the house around 7. Then he eats his breakfast. And if I have time and if he needs to go, I'll take him right before I leave work. So that's around 7.40. And then when I get home from my lunch break, I'll take him out. So that's, you know, anywhere from 12.30 to 12.30 to 1.30. And then when I get home from work at 5, I'll take him out again. From there, we usually will go to the dog park or play together for a few hours before we give him dinner, which is usually around 6.45, 7. And then he will have to go to the bathroom approximately an hour or so after that. And then from that point on, we just take him out one more time before we go to bed at night, which I usually try to go to bed around 10.30. So in total, that's about six times a day that he goes potty. Another person asked how much work is it? So this can be answered in a lot of different ways. I would say generally though, the idea of getting a puppy when you work in any capacity is a lot of work and just getting a puppy in general is also a lot of work. When we got Milton, as I mentioned earlier, we took about a week off from work so that we could just focus on him and getting him adjusted to his new life here. So for that first week, we just really nailed down the potty training and the sleep schedule and did crate training with him. All this to get him accustomed to what his life would realistically look like with us. I would say the biggest thing is that in those first few weeks when you have a puppy and you bring them home, so anywhere from I would say maybe eight to eight to 16 weeks. You really want to make sure that you're taking them out as frequently as they need to go. And so the general rule of thumb is for how old your puppy is in months, plus one is how long they can hold it. So when we got Milan at 10 weeks old, he was about three months. So the max he could hold it was four hours and it also varies too on the breed of dog you get. Smaller dogs can't hold their bladders for as long as larger dogs. And the potty training kind of carry over into the crate training too. And generally dogs won't pee in the space where they sleep. So the crate solves a lot of those issues of having them hold it, but of course they can only hold it for so long. So if you're in a position where you work full time and you can't necessarily go home that frequently during your day, I mean, most people only get one break, they don't get like four, then this is where having family and friends to help out is super crucial. You can also use the Rover app, which we went over in a previous video, to book day dog sitters to go and let your dog out or play with them. So that's another option if you don't have family or friends who could come over and let your puppy out. Long story short, the amount of work it takes to have a puppy while you work full time is a lot, but it does get easier as they get older. And if for any reason you find yourself in a position where you don't think you'd be able to let them out during the day, or just in general devote all the time to a puppy that it needs, maybe consider getting an older dog at a year old, adopting, 
all great options where you can still have your furry friend, but you don't have to deal with the hassle of having a puppy and training one because they are a lot to deal with. A few hours later, and I am back home from work and playing with Mr. Milton. Dog playing is so fun. Look at those ears. Look at that big ear on him. All right, Melon, you ready to go to the dog park? to Milton tonight. They're Frosty Paws, peanut butter flavor, almost like ice cream cups, but for dogs, so we'll see if he likes them. Alrighty, and now we're gonna get Milton's special snack for tonight. There it is, Frosty Paws. Oh. It's like you have a food sensor. Curious to see how this turns out. So, this is what it looks like, almost just like a little ice cream cup that says Frosty Paws on it. Looks like you just peel off the lid like this. Smells pretty good. It kind of just looks like a little ice cream cup. Ooh. Now we give it to the beast. Milton! Got a little treat for you. Stay. Okay. Ooh, I think he likes it. He's certainly licking it a lot. He's basically like scooting it and licking it around the kitchen. So move from here to all the way over there, but I guess at least we know he likes it. And with that, we are done showing you a work day in our life. Milne's had his ice cream and he is starting with his nighttime ritual of being crazy, as you can see here. Giving all the kisses. If there's anything we missed in this video that you might have a question about, if you are considering getting a puppy or have a puppy and you're not entirely sure how to incorporate them into your work schedule, feel free to leave that in the comments and we will be happy to answer your questions. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that you never miss a new video with Maddie and Milton. And we'll see you in the next vlog. Milton, say bye! Mwah.